But right now, we are going through a period of tremendous change and uncertainty. It's really unprecedented for high school and college athletes alike, as well as the college coaches. Now, the NCAA has instituted an extended dead period. Now, initially, it was supposed to run through April 15th. Subsequently, they extended it all the way out to May 31st. And because of this dead period, a lot of student athletes and parents just may not be familiar with the NCAA terminology, and they may think that recruitment altogether has come to a halt. Because, you know, the term dead period sounds like there's really nothing going on. So I want you guys to take a couple minutes and just explain what the NCAA means when they refer to something as a dead period and explain how it could uh, limit or impact the, the college coaching as it's going on right now. all about the, the face-to-face right and then the mm-hmm. immediate uh watching uh, of the, per- the players compete um they can't do that um there's no visiting high schools and high schools are pretty much closed for, you know right now anyway um but they can't they can write them they can call them right mm-hmm. um but the biggest thing is to your point though re- recruiting doesn't stop right you know it's all about, and this is where i think uh your past body work is really going to have to come to play here Right, and if it's, if it's documented and recorded. Correct. Correct. So, so, but, but that's the way to keep, you know, your activity alive and mm-hmm. in front of coaches. Right. So it's important, like you said, you want to have it documented properly, you know, and, and, and have them be able to view it in a way that's um, beneficial to them so they can really understand what you're capable of doing as a student athlete. Mm-hmm. So Greg, how about on the football side? You know, I don't think we're going to see, too much seven on seven and all that stuff going on across the South. Um, how how can these guys? Is it the same thing, man? We just need the video. We need the relationships. Well, you have a lot of coaches with a lot of time on their hands, but uh, they're not uh, they're not just twiddling their thumbs sitting at the house. They're they're engaging kids online. Uh, social media has become, you know, it was already important, but it, but now it's it's really a vehicle. A lot of college coaches have to uh, really stay engaged and stay in the hunt with a lot of these kids. But while they're out there, they're also reviewing a lot of uh, new film, um, discovering some kids that uh, maybe if they didn't have that amount of time on their hands, they otherwise wouldn't have uh, run. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd be surprised at how many kids actually receive offers because, uh, you know, a, a coach saw them competing uh, against a kid or either on film uh, with a kid they're already uh, you know, scouting. And so uh, I think it's very important for, for kids to get their film together, uh, make sure that it's good quality film, and uh, get it out to as many coaches as, as possible. You know, create a list and uh, you know, go after those people. Be aggressive. You know, they, they can't make a decision on giving you a scholarship if they don't know you. 